I mean, she, she thought she was going to maybe try and get forward here. What does she do now? Because it, it just feels like the match is unraveling quite quickly. Well, you can see the body language as well, can't you? From Kostiuk, she's almost looks like she's starting to run out of ideas. And I think that's the most demoralizing thing as a player when you don't feel like you've got any options. And at the moment, obviously, she's not winning a lot of those baseline exchanges. Goff has just been so good off that and off the returns as well. She's been struggling on the serve. Goff's just putting her under more and more pressure. And I'm not sure whether Kostiuk's got that variation enough to be able to trouble her. Well, that's a little better. But that's a level of tennis that she's having to play to hang with Goff at the moment. I think that's a, something that we, we have mentioned. I mean, it doesn't feel like she's playing poorly at all, Kostiuk. And yet has found herself being outplayed. This would be a big hold if she can come through this game. Such is the beauty of this sport. It can change so quickly. There's that pressure again, though, isn't it? You just look, Goff just hanging on to that baseline she's just constantly pushing Kostiuk further and further back Goff just sensing this opportunity here she wants to get the double break she can see that finish line in sight Yet to make an unforced error in this second set, Goff suffocating her opponent right now. And you get the feeling Kostyuk is running out of ideas. Rock solid tennis from the world number four. Goff leads by four games. And she's closing in on an eighth straight win. Looking good in China once more is the American. Gets the added bonus of a double break lead in set two. 4 1. To be honest, I think on the forehand, I think sometimes she can feel a little bit tentative, like she doesn't trust it, but it just looks like she's really committed. Of course, tough to make technical changes mid season. Be interesting to see what she does throughout the off season with this new team. Certainly going to have confidence in them, though, with the, the tennis she's playing at the back end of the year. Yeah, it's interesting what she was saying about last week as well. She sort of almost viewed it as a practice week, didn't mm. she? Obviously, having the new team in place, she was talking about just trying to implement what they were talking about. Another emphatic game from Goff. All the momentum staying with the 20 year old. And it's a 5 1 lead in set two for the American.
New balls here for Kostyuk, serving to stay in the match. have just racked up in this second set for Kostiuk. 12 for the 13th seed, just the one for Coco Goff. Oh, she's just given Kostiuk absolutely nothing, especially in the second set. Marta Kostyuk versus Coco Goffsonoid in Wuhan Open over there in China. Uh, Coco Goff expectedly winning this one. This is her second match in the Wuhan Open. She's coming off her China Open win from last weekend and trying to make a two for two uh, WTA 1000 events this month. So a lot of fun seeing Coco Goff. Such a privilege seeing Coco Goff on court tonight. Pagula's up next. Uh, Coco Goff literally just finished on court uh, just a few minutes ago, and Pagula will be up next. And then after that, the absolute mega star in China, Quin Wen Zhang, is playing Layla Fernandez, former U.S. Open finalist Layla Fernandez from Canada. And then a very big match coming uh, at 6 a.m. Central here in the U.S. No clue what time that is in China, but probably in the evening or nighttime. Uh, Arena Sabalenka versus Yulia Putin Seba, and we'll definitely we'll definitely be watching that match for sure. I know you have a lot of options of where, where you can watch your tennis analysis if you're watching right here on Best Muscle Video. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, our beloved Iga Sviantek, of course, is not in this tournament, but um, it is a lot of fun seeing Coco Goff tonight. Uh, Coco Goff, I don't know if she had any double faults in this entire match, which is really good news for her because... Uh, uh, she's had a lot of trouble with the double faults. Do you remember WTA finals last year or at least a couple of years ago? And really throughout throughout this year too, she's had a lot, a lot of problems with double faults. Um, I think the pressure just gets to her and she's been uh, hopefully working on that with her team. Uh, a lot of constructive criticism uh, thrown at and even unfair criticism in my opinion thrown at Coco Goff during the China Open. Uh, she tr struggled in some matches, uh, struggled in her, one of her first matches in that tournament and then uh, ended up winning the whole thing, but it was not not the easiest tournament for her. So, uh, so far, domination in her first two matches here in the China Open, or excuse me, in the Wuhan Open. And let me know in the comments who she's playing next. I'm not sure. Um, like I said, the Goffs, the Pagulas, the Sabalenkas, the uh, Zhangs, uh, they're all still in this tournament. So, um, a lot of big names still in this one. We lit, we miss our beloved Iga Sviantek, um, for sure. Um, so, we're missing her and uh, can't wait to see her in WTA finals. I don't think there is a tournament, at least not a WTA 1000 event before WTA finals begins. So that's that sucks. But um, uh, WTA finals will begin, I believe, on November, November 2nd in Saudi Arabia. So Pagula next, then Jang, then Sabalenka. So many, so many matches to look forward to tonight. Very late at night here in the U.S. 
uh, no sleep at all uh, will go to my brain. I will not be hitting the bed anytime soon. So if you're watching here, if you uh, can support me uh, on the bottom right of the video player, right there on your phone or your computer, uh, just, just click on that word thanks on your phone or on the computer right there on YouTube. You'll see it on the bottom right of the video player. You can send me money that way. When I see those thanks notifications on my phone, on my iPhone, uh, it really means a lot to me. So thank you so much. Any amount helps. I know it, I know it works in Poland and, and over here in the U.S., North America, Asia, Africa, all that good stuff. So Coco Goff winning this one. I think the um, the headline uh, really for me uh, is she didn't. Uh, she, I don't think she had any double faults. If she had a double fault in this match, she had only one. So um, Kostiuk made it a, a good uh, match in the first set. It was six four six one. I think was the final score. Um, she just kind of dwindled away in that second set. It's amazing how some players that can happen uh, after they lose the first set. But uh, Kostiuk never had an answer in this one and. Um, U.S. beating Ukraine today, so it was a lot of fun to watch, and uh, let's see what Pagula can do uh, coming up here in about 45 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it here. Best muscle video on YouTube. If you, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so, and I will see you right back here in a little bit. Talk to you soon.